check this bad boy out. And this is a OBD2 Bluetooth adapter. So we'll be able to go ahead and read boost AFR ratios, SST temperatures, and things of that nature. And I'll show you guys the app that I'll be using here in the car. But you are going to need a Bluetooth adapter for your OBD2. And this is what I picked up off of Amazon. But let's go ahead and get this unboxed and see what we got. That is literally all that is in the box. Is this little adapter. No batteries needed, no cable. Just your little Elm 327 interface. So this should be compliant with all OBD2. All right, here we are at the car. So unlike the Tatrix cable, you don't want to see the wording. So you're going to flip it this way and just installs right up in here. So now that that is up there nice and snug, it's pretty much out of the way. I had some reasonable doubt that I'd probably hit that with my knee or shin or... All right, with the Torque Pro app, there's a couple things that I wanted to show you real fast. So first things first, you want to go ahead and get this add-on. So go back to Google Play and you're going to purchase this. I think it's like another five or six bucks, but it's the Advanced Mitsubishi LT. Once you download it into uh, Google Play, it actually automatically comes in here to this uh, Torque app. So the reason you want that is when you go ahead to this real-time information, you can actually get your SST temperature gauge right there. So that is an add-on from the other one that you can add on to this uh, Torque Pro. So nothing's really going to show you any numbers right now because the car is not running. But there's the throttle. You can sit there and mess with that. But yeah, I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys this. There is a couple of videos on YouTube that you guys can go search up if you want in regards to setting everything up on here. Um, but yeah, so here's our boost. We have a digital boost gauge, throttle, acceleration. You got some speed, coolant, trans. Um, and then over here, you can also see your 0 to 60, quarter mile, I don't know, horsepower. I'm not really too sure how accurate that is, but that's pretty cool to have. And then another cool thing to have, um, yeah, so I got the AFR reading up there. But another cool thing that this does is if I, if I come back, we can actually do and look up your fault codes. So in order to do that, tap here to scan for faults. No fault codes stored in ECU. All right, looks like we're healthy. So that's always a good thing. So those change accordingly. There's those numbers. Fourteen point seven zero here at idle. Does that sound accurate? So vacuum, that's still your boost. It's just for some reason it changed titles. But uh let's go ahead and drive around and see what happens with these numbers. So there's your AFR at an idle. Here's while we move. Kind of drops whenever you're accelerating. Let me know if those numbers look good to you guys. Now let's check out these boost numbers. So it looks like it climbed to a good 21 or 22, which seems just about right to what uh, the boost pills are supposed to do. All right, let's see what that was. I think that was a pretty good launch. Pretty good launch right there. So if you guys saw, I didn't really wait till 5,000 RPM. I kind of let go of the brake at, as the RPMs were climbing. And I feel like that was a way better start. Because at 5,000 and you let go, it kind of sits there for a second and then launches forward. But I know on drag racing, as soon as you roll forward, that's when the time starts. So that little bog on the Super Sport launch control, that might slow you down about half a second. 
All right, so my GPS isn't working the greatest on the Torque app there, or on the Drag Race app on the Android, so I have it set up on my phone. GPS is at 100%, so you're going to have the most accurate reading. Let's go ahead and launch this, baby. Pretty dang quick. Okay, so as you guys know, the numbers from last time, I was able to achieve a 5.0. Well, let me tell you, that last run, your boy, and this car right here, got a 4.9. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but just to say, I have a four second car, zero to 60, I think that's pretty cool. All right, so don't go ahead and beat me up, but I know this isn't a real dyno tune. It's not a quarter mile. It's not something validated on a strip. However, this is a drag racer app. I did do the baseline uh, 0 to 60 as a stock car. Did it with the GST base map, and now I'm doing it with the GST boost pill. But yeah, there's the GPS stating that it was 100% accurate at the time of this uh, whole fiasco. And... Um, and yeah, I'm pretty happy with that number. But like I previously mentioned, I'm pretty sure I got that number a little bit lower just off of my launch control method. So previously in my other launches, what I would do is I go ahead, rev up with the brake all the way up to 5,000 RPM. That's where it likes to sit. As soon as you let go of the brake, you kind of go. But using that method, it actually delays your launch a little bit, I feel like, because it takes like a little millisecond to actually get going and gain traction. However, if you time it just right, you get the RPMs rising, rising, rising. As soon as you get to about 3.5, about 4, you let go of that braking. Let go of that brake and it kind of catches up with it and you kind of launch smoothly. So it's not go, 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 stop at 5, and then go. It's kind of 3, 3, 3, 4, let go, 5, if that makes any sense. So that's what I ended up doing. Got my time down a little bit. And um, yeah, so it could have been the weather that dropped it a little bit. Could have been a little bit less gas. Could have been GPS a little wonky. But I do think uh, that new launch method helped out a lot. So not bashing on the launch control of the car. I just think this might be a little smidge better. But I don't know. What do you guys think? If you have the same scenarios playing around with your car, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to talk to you guys about it. So other than that, I just want to say thanks for watching. Never leave your life an idol. And I'll see you guys in the next one. 4.9. Kind of impressed. <laughs> All right. Peace. Pretty quick, tell you that much.